everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fab day today. In today's video, I thought that I would show you guys my makeup collection and storage because as you guys may know, I have now got my vanity slash dressing table up. Um, been a long time waiting, this has. All that needs to be done is I need a new mirror because this isn't the exact mirror that I want. But for now, it will do the job. But yeah, I thought I would show you guys my makeup collection and I just want to quickly say that this is by no means like me bragging because this might look like a lot of a makeup to some people, but it also might not look like a lot. Like I personally don't think that this is a lot compared to other like way, way bigger YouTubers that I've seen. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my like makeup, how I'm storing it and I did a poll on Twitter and you guys also wanted to see it, so that's what I'm going to do today. This video might be a long one, so hopefully it's not too long. going to stop rambling and just get straight into the video. Just quickly also, if my makeup's looking a little bit crusty, dusty and oily, it's because I've just got back from having a meal, so that is the whole situation with my disgustingly oily face. So this is what my vanity looks like as a whole. Um, yeah, just super nice, sleek, the usual kind of setup for like a typical like a YouTuber setup, I suppose. Bring you a little bit closer. I just have the five Alex drawers either side, and then I just have <coughs> sorry, my throat is really like croaky today. And then I just have a um, just a standard like tabletop on top, and I just lined it with some like a marble wrap. Um, just because I prefer the look of marble, I thought like play white was a little bit boring and everybody has it. So it was just like my own kind of twist on it. I obviously have all of my makeup brushes over there. My beauty sponge, which, um, yeah, they're disgustingly dirty and I really need to clean them. So sorry about that. And then we have this little thing that my mum brought me for my 21st birthday. It says happy 21st birthday, Alana. And I really love it. Like it lights up. It's so cute. Should we just leave it on? Yeah, let's just leave it on. And then... I just have like my little mini jewellery box where I put like my go-to like everyday like jewellery so it has all my bracelets in that I use all the time. My rings, my earrings, stuff like that. And then over here we have like my like favourite lipsticks like on show. I can't really figure out how I want them to look and I want like a different organiser. This isn't how I want my vanity to look kind of like forever like it's just like a work in progress but i kind of just wanted to show you so that when i then do one next year maybe you'll be able to see like how it's like evolved kind of thing so obviously i just have all my lip liners in the back these are just like a mixture of all kinds of my favorite like lipsticks and whatnot they're all glosses so if i want to wear a gloss they're all in there and then these are sorted but they don't look sorted so, so these are like all of my brownie nudes and then these are my like pinkier nudes and then these are like my like stranger darker colors so but they're all matte so that's that and then obviously this is just like a pot that i put all of my like stuff to clean my face in i suppose like cleansing pads and all that jazz so that is what the top of my dressing table looks like but now the part that everyone has been waiting for the actual makeup so this is my first drawer and it looks a mess like it's a bit of an organized mess like i know where everything is so these are all my primers in the front with my priming water my nyx primer i can't remember what it's called bear with me and then these are all of the all of my like face creams and there's another one back here so my night cream my eye cream some creams that i've never actually used before but i really need to use them this is my favorite at the minute the hydrogenous by l'oreal i've been using it so much um this is the one i like to use mostly in summer the number seven beautiful skin for normal to oily skin and then at the back here hopefully that's a bit better these are all of my like setting sprays obviously my hand sanitizer because you've got to sanitize your hands before you touch your face my favorite primer isn't the minute to use is this revlon photo ready primer i like to use this in my t-zone and then this nyx bear with me primer i love this this is like literally my favorite at the minute so that is the first draw with all my primers in 
So my next drawer looks a little bit more put together. Still messy, but it is what it is. So at the back here, these are just all of my eyeliners. And then we have mascaras that I've not yet opened so that I can separate them and I know which ones I've used and which I haven't. And I've got all of my like brow products in this section here. So my pomades, which are my favorite. This um, like shadow, brow shadow palette from Barry M. And then like brow gels, pencils and all things like that. And then this little section here is mascaras I'm currently using and then Sorry, let me just lift these out. And then like tweezers and my lash glow and stuff like that in there. Just so that these, I know that these are the mascaras that I need to get through first, as well as this brow gel, because there's no point in opening them as I want for it to get dry. Then I just have my eyelash curler and then my lashes are just all back there looking a bit of a disgusting mess. So yeah, that draws a little bit more put together. Still a little bit disgusting, but it looks okay. So this drawer is all of my concealers and my foundations, spare beauty blenders, setting powders, all that kind of stuff is in this drawer. So all my foundations are just here and then I also have, I also have this one which is a powder foundation and then I have all of my concealers over here. Obviously these are my spare sponges and then these are all of my setting powders. So. The layout of this drawer is actually one of my favourites. I just need to find something to put my concealers in. But I really like this and I like how I can stand all of my foundations up as well. So all the product is like sat at the bottom. So that it's like easier to use and get every, every last bit out. So whilst I'm in this drawer, some of the foundations that I love are the Maybelline Superstay foundation. My absolute favourite. Love it so much. Um, I also really like... This one, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, literally a favourite of mine for so, so long. And then another one that I've been trying out is the Collection Last Imperfection one. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. I feel like I kind of like it, but I also kind of don't. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep using it to see how I get on with it. And then, strangely enough, I love this um, L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick for foundation when I am tanned but I also have it for when I am not tanned and this pff, I hate it like it's awful awful foundation for when I'm not tanned I really don't know why and then the concealers I'm loving at the minute are the um this one here actually it's from Primark I really like it I've been using it whilst I've been tanned because it is a little bit darker than my other concealers. I really, really like that one. One that I've loved for so long is the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love this so much. Mine is literally on its last legs and I'm literally saving it for that special occasion. So that's that drawer. Now, this drawer looks a little bit less hectic and I actually really like this drawer to be honest. So this is my eyeshadow palette drawer. Um, it's not too crazy I don't feel like so I have all of my like smaller palettes here at the front that are able to like stand up and then I have my like bigger palettes at the back this is the life on the dance floor VIP palette it's beautiful if I just open her up so that's what that palette looks like honestly so so cute um the palette that I actually am getting the most use of out at the moment is the PS Nudes palette. She's so like crusty, dusty and beaten up. And beaten up now, but honestly, she's good for the price, seriously. And then another palette that I've been getting a lot more use of since I've had this set out like this is the Modern Renaissance palette. Oh, I love this palette so, so much. Like, it looks like I've hardly used it, but that's because you literally don't need to use a lot at all. Such a good palette. And then some of the bigger palettes that I have is the Beauty Bay M -M 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 Mitchell palette. I love this palette. I've also got the Rachel Leary Ultimate Goddess palette in here, which, honestly, I'm really not sure where I want to put this because I mostly use this palette. Honestly, don't, don't even ask what is all over this palette i mostly use it for this shade here the bronzing shade and then this one for the shimmery bronzer too um 
I don't really use the eyeshadow, so I wasn't 100% sure where to put this palette. But I put it in here because it's more like of like a travel palette. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure where to put that palette yet. And then I just have like my Jawbreaker palette, some Morphe palettes, a Boots palette, more Morphe palettes down there. So yeah, that's what this drawer looks like. If you guys want like an in-depth like eyeshadow palette collection, like high-end and then like drugstore, let me know and I can do that because I'm actually quite interested in things like that. Oh, I actually forgot to mention this little section down here, if I just pull it out all my palettes will probably fall now so this little section here just has like some single eyeshadow eyeshadows that i've picked up some of the cream shadows from top shop a loose eyeshadow pigment this is just a glitter it also has my Stila glitter and glows over there camera can you focus please thank you and then just some eyeshadow primers which i honestly don't really use anymore but yeah, that's just what's in that little section there. And then the last drawer of the first set of drawers. This is like my blushes, my highlighters, my contour kits, things like that. So at the back here are some palettes that you'll probably barely ever see on my channel. These are my Sleek Cream Contour Palette. I have tried to clean con contour and I can do it. I just, I just don't see the point in it. But these palettes, if you are looking for a cream contour, are actually really nice. Um, yeah, they're just the sleek ones. They have a really nice mirror. Nice and light and handy if you wanted to travel with them. And then I just have this NYX Wonder Stick, which honestly, not the biggest fan of. And then I also have my Hula Quickie Contour Stick, which I actually love. Um, it's just really easy and quick to use. Like, it blends out really nicely. And then back here, we just have some of my like contour palette so there's this one from revolution it's got your contour highlight and blush super handy we've got this one from revolution which i've actually been getting a lot more use out of now we've got my oldie but a goodie my nip and fab palette honestly so used and abused and then if we want to talk about used and abused look at my nyx palette like honestly battered and then we have my pro hd um i think it's the amplifier palette from um revolution which honestly doesn't really get that much use um but obviously i had to have it clearly so they're just my contour palettes and do you know what honestly thinking about it now i feel like this should be back here yeah we're gonna put that there too this is the revolution um what is this it's a blush palette um it's called golden sugar i wouldn't necessarily say this is a blush palette but sorry guys my mum rang me if the camera angle has like changed or whatever but i think what i was saying is like for deeper skin tones that palette could actually be quite good i'm gonna save the highlighter palettes till the end i think then i have my hula original and my hula light bronzers right there honestly i don't really reach for them as much anymore to be honest um i just i feel like i have all the stuff that i can use now and then right in the back here is a double of the love at first blush from soap and glory i've never used it never opened it so i'm just kind of keeping it at the back here as like if i ever need to open a new one or if i ever do a giveaway i'm just keeping that there for that i have this um collection bronze glow the matte one um bronzing powder and then i have this um bronze glow matte powder from primark yeah primark and then i have the nyx no filter finishing powder which i use as a bronzer i have this um brilliance bronzer by bh cosmetics that i did still yet to try so that's kind of all for the bronzer bit then this like middle portion here is like blushes so i have this one by nyx which honestly i like the color of it but it's a little bit annoying because it's hard to get like the actual product on your brush but there's this one my favorite blush at the minute is the milani luminoso blush i've been using it so 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 much love this one then i have um the good old max factor um creme puff blush 
used and abused honestly the closest blush i've come to using up like completely i love the color of this um and then here is the blush that i have the double of the love first blush from soap and glory so this is what it looks like it has a really nice sheen to it it's beautiful to be honest a really really good blush and then there's this blush as well what it says it's an illuminator so like a highlighter but i use it as a blush it's in the shade chaotic just like a really deep pink um but it has like a really nice glow to it as well love that blush also for blushes i have just this little single here which i'm yet to try by essence it looks like a really nice color and then on to the best bit the highlighters so first things first still in the packaging because i honestly i just don't want to throw the packaging away this is the supreme frost highlighter in diamond wet by jeffree star cosmetics such a good highlighter honestly one of my favorites i have the goddess of love triple baked highlighter from i heart makeup or i heart revolution i can't remember what they're called now it's just like a champagne pink color i honestly i love it it's such a good highlight i've started using it a lot more now as well because i've got such like easy access to it and then i just have two of the old packaging highlighters from primark I have mink pink and I think this one is brunch club yeah brunch club they're really good highlighters from Primark and then I have my Ofra highlighter in glazed donut I have Mary Lou down here and then this one from MUA which I literally can't even get out which I used to love but I've really like I just don't reach for it anymore and then I have this massive um skin kiss from revolution i think these were supposed to be a dupe of the jeffree star i can't remember what they're called but i think they're called skin frost i think that's what they're supposed to be a dupe for then i have this bella pierre um highlighter like loose highlighter um it's just called luminizer it doesn't have like a shade name i don't think i don't think it has a shade name and i also have the bronzer for them as well the bella pierre um warming bronzer it's like a loose bronzer honestly scares the life out of me when i use that because it is so pigmented so that's all of my like loose highlighters and bronzers if i just quickly pop these back as neatly as i can that'll do and then we've got my highlighter palette so we've got one of my favorites the revolution ultra pro glow highlighter palette honestly stunning got a shade for everyone in there i love it i've honestly been reaching for me for this more than i've been reaching for this lately which actually surprises me because this is my favorite it's the soap x highlighter palette with revolution you can see how beaten up this is i've used it so much i love it but i've honestly been reaching for the just the revolution one like the most recently then i have the lottie london shimmer squad that was rude the lottie london shimmer squad and these are the shades they look stunning yeah love those and then if i just try and stand some of these back up a little bit we have the living my best light highlighter palette from beauty bay which looks like this honestly really pretty palette but i find it really hard to use then we just have my Revolution Pro 4K highlighter palette, um, my Pure Glow highlighter palette from Primark and the Opal palette from Primark. So they're my like palette highlighters. And then just at the front right here, we have my like liquid highlighters, which honestly I never really use. I have this Glow um, liquid highlighter from Topshop. This is in the shade do you have a shade oh it's in the shade blaze it's like a pink like a very very dark pink so i could probably mix this in with my um foundation but i probably couldn't use it as like a liquid highlighter and then we have the liquid glow from primark i can't remember what shade this is but it looks stunning i really need to try and use these because i've had them for a while and just not used them yet because i also have this one um 
another liquid glow i can see the shade on this one this is ice queen it's like a white so this one's like a white liquid highlighter and then this one is like a champagne gold so that's my highlighter drawer and that concludes the first set of drawers so the only drawer in here that has like makeup in is this one and honestly it's just a mess there's no organization to it at all so i have my favorite lip balm at the minute it's the nivea lip butter in coconut i've been using it a lot i always like to apply a lip balm when i'm doing my makeup and then just at the back here for starters i have this little thing down here which is just like it just helps to clean your um, eyeshadow brushes like if you don't have a lot of brushes you can like clean them in between like shades and whatever then i just have my real techniques um brush cleaner and the little um soap which honestly i don't really use and then i also have this little one from primark as well just helps to clean my brushes and these are all of my lipsticks like that basically couldn't fit in any of the holders so these are just all the ones that i'm less likely to reach for but obviously if i did want them they are in here so there is a couple duplicates in here like the sexy mother pucker from soap and glory i love them but i have got them on the stand already and yeah these are just lipsticks that i don't really reach for in here there's like a mixture of brands there's like primark soap and glory soap and glory this is the um what even brand are you oh this is a jure lip topper which i'm not really the biggest fan of um my revolution pro lipsticks there this is rimmel i think yeah this is a rimmel lipstick l'oreal just loads honestly just loads of lipsticks in there but i don't really reach for these ones too much and then this drawer isn't really like makeup related but it also kind of is so this is just like all of my like face products so i have just some face wipes my micellar water my cleansing um milk to take off my makeup um a cleansing lotion this one just helps to get rid of eyeshadow and mascara and whatever and then i use this to give my face like a nice um moisture and then this is just if i'm really struggling with like oiliness and like breakouts and whatever and i just have some cleansing pads back here some earboards or q-tips however you want to call them and then that's that drawer and then the rest of the drawers aren't really anything makeup related but i'm going to show you just for the purpose of the video so this is a mess <laughs> it is supposed to be sorry if i just move that out of the way it's supposed to be like the fragrance drawer but i have some like spectacle wipes because i like to use them on my small mirror to clean them then i have all of my like perfumes and stuff in here so like my favorite ones are like my boss orange here or my what is my oh my armani shea honestly one of my favorites ever um yeah and then i also have some of kane's fragrances in here as well just to keep them out of the way and then i have some anti bat wipes as well some body sprays back there candles just yeah it's like a mixed match of things it's mostly supposed to just be for fragrances and then this drawer is just my hair care drawer so nothing really too much to say about that and then this drawer is my makeup bag drawer and then that's basically everything that's in my drawers these are just my like makeup brushes so i just thought i'd quickly like run through them so these are like all um like for cream product brushes these are all for like powders and things like that these are all of my eyeshadow brushes and then these are brushes that i use like on a day to day so like in the morning when i'm rushing to get ready i can just pick this pot up i know all of my favorite brushes are in there so i can just pick it up and quickly do my makeup I obviously have my sponge in this little holder here and then i have my little sponge in this holder here just because i need to get another one of these and yeah that's basically the whole of my makeup the only thing that i do need to change is just the mirror i mean don't mind me in the mirror there there i am hi hello um <laughs> yeah don't mind me but um yeah the only thing i need to change is the mirror because i just want like a plain mirror that will just stick to the wall and then i'm just gonna have lights down the side and that's basically the end of my vanity
So that was everything for today and that is how I am currently storing, storing, storing <laughs> my makeup. I just really wanted to show you guys, I was really excited about having my makeup table up because I've not had one before. So yeah, it's really, really exciting. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's not too long. I'm hoping it's not too long, but we all know I like to ramble. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you are new around here and you fancy seeing a little bit more of me, whilst you're still here, go and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. And yeah, I shall see you all in the next video. Bye.